Okay, we have St George's House, which work has now begun on this development. So, RNF have started work on phase one, which is uh, St George's House and the low rise section down the side. This is building A and the low rise section down that side, which we'll have a look at is building B. Uh, they've demolished the first the front bit at the bottom there. Um, but they are going to adapt it, put six stories on a step like that up and then up, down like that. They're going to completely strip off all that cladding and concrete. And I think they're going to replace it with bronze, like a bronze coloured cladding. So it'll look much better than what it does at the moment. So we'll have a look round. Phase two, they've got planning permission now to demolish a lot of the buildings on St George's Walk. Uh, I think they're going to submit a plan application early next year for the redevelopment of the site and they're including a 45 and 50 storey tower which will stand just behind Sage's house there, which will be almost twice as tall, if not twice as tall as, as St George's house there, the nested building. So we'll have a look around and see what's going on. Yeah, we'll take a look around and see what's happening. You have to walk this way around because they've closed that part off now. Yeah, this is all the construction site. Yeah, because the front of the building used to jut out just there and then come down and jutted out slightly the first two floors, which they've demolished, so it's flush now all the way down. It's flush right down now. Yes, yeah, so some of the businesses are open into George's Walk. The first part there is staying for now, but the other part, at the other end, they're going to knock down. But we'll walk right round and have a look, see go right through it. Here you can see where they've broke it off there. It did jut out slightly then come down but they've took it right back flush now with the building. If RNS do get planning permission for phase two, I think they want to start around about the summer of next year, 2019, thereabouts. It might be a bit windy, so excuse the, the noise of the wind in the background. But yeah, as you can see, they've demolished this section here and they're stripping that because this is the low-rise section, building B. They're going to strip all that concrete and glass off of it and put a whole new cladding on it. I think they're going to put an extra three floors on it, I do believe. So yeah, they're in the process of completely stripping this right back to the, back to the floors and columns. As you can hear, works are going on in there, stripping it all out. <laughs> uh, park House is staying, I do believe they're going to refurbish that into it. The same as what they're doing here, but that'll be in phase two. They'll strip that back to its floors and columns. The section that goes over the road, they're going to demolish that. So this section from here to there will be demolished. They'll take that section out. Park House they're keeping, I think. They're going to refurbish that in, in, into this, what they're doing with the low rise section there. They'll do the same as this, but they'll do that in the in phase within phase two. Now that section there, 
with the white cladding on. That's they're going to demolish that, and that'll be a new walkway into Queen Square. I believe it's Smith's Yard, I think they'll call one of the entrances. Uh, I've got all the information and images at the end of the video, so if you go through that and read all through that, because obviously I can't remember everything, so... Yeah, Thomas Turner Path. So you'll come through there, across the road, and through there. They'll knock that down, and then you'll be able to walk right through to Queen Square. That's Thomas Turner Path there. Which comes from George Street, this is Park Street. Yeah, so this section here, they will, they will demolish and you'll be able to walk right through. And Catherine House, which is this building that runs right along the, along the front there, that's, um, that's going to be kept. Not sure what's going on with that. I don't think they're going to touch that for now. I think if there is a possible phase three, they might do it then. But this is going to be kept, Catherine, one, one Catherine Street. Yeah, one Catherine Street, one Catherine House is around the corner, that's going. Yeah, they've put the Harris Fencing up in there, so that's closed off now, So, because all the shopping parade in there is all going to be pulled down. We'll have a quick look at that, because obviously we can't walk through there anymore. But like we did last time. We'll take a look anyway. I apologise, the last video I did, my finger kept getting in the way, but the phone I was using at the time packed up on me. So, I had to use my other phone. And obviously there's the glare of the sun because the screen weren't very good and I couldn't see what I was filming, I was only guessing, that's why my finger kept getting in the way, so I apologise for that. But yeah, as you can hear, works are going on, this is closed, these rows of shops will be pulled down. I believe that building over the top there is going. Yeah, this one will be kept for now. I would imagine they may use this, instead of having loads of cabins like they usually do on building sites, they may use the offices instead of having loads of cabins on the site, because obviously there's not very much room, because they're going to be developing the whole site, or most of it anyway. But yeah, that building there, we've just walked around there, that's Park House. That's going to be re refurbished into apartments to completely stripped, but that will come under phase two. The other the first part down there, by the house, comes under phase one, which is building B, St George's House is building A. That's 288 apartments that's going to be converted into. So, yeah. Yeah, I think these two units here are going to be converted for the uh, the uh, sales suite for uh, the apartments in St George's House. I think it's 23 to 25 High Street, I think, is the address, if I can remember. It's not actually really not there. Yeah. There's a planning application here, so... Structural demolition of Park House, so I thought they was going to keep that. Move this in foundation and ground floor slab. Yeah, on the website they said they're going to keep Park House and convert it, but it says on there they want to knock it down, so. The information's on there anyway at the end of this video, I'll put all the information on there, but. There is a chart telling you what all the heights of the buildings will be, what they're planning to, to build. And also there's a, a, a chart showing the different stages of demolition, the in, in, putting in the tower crane of St George's house. I think that's December to January they'll be installing that. Yeah, they want to create a new uh, 
town square close this off so this is all pedestrianised this will be the new town square from the town hall right through this building here is going as you can see it works right underway now yeah this building's definitely going this is definitely coming down this way that's the park house, I'm not quite sure because they said they wanted to keep it but on that planning application back there they want to put it down. Yeah. Yeah, check out the uh, website Queen R and F Queen Square Croydon, all the information's on there, but I'll post a lot of information at the end of this video so you can see what's going on. Ellis House is going, that's being knocked down, Sage's House West, just there, you see up the edge that's going as well. Sage's House East, which is on the corner, that's listed, that's staying, they're going to bring that in with the development and refurbish that. But yeah, it works are underway now. Yeah, they have yet to get planning permission because the council weren't quite happy with the height of the towers. Well, it'll be one tower, it'll be part 45, part 50 storeys. And they wasn't quite happy with the height because it's too near the old part of Croydon and all the listed buildings. So hopefully they can negotiate with the council and hopefully they'll, they'll give it to them. But there's also concerns about the lack of affordable housing, but they are going to, I think they're going to put more affordable housing in. So they will have to increase the height of some of the buildings. So they're going to put in a, a pre-application with the council to discuss that, I think. And then once they've done that, then early next year they'll submit a full planning application. Yeah, this section here is definitely coming down above the road that's going. This part here is going. And that's all going there. As you can see, it's closed off from this end as well. Maybe that's changed about Park House, they are going to pull it down. I, I did read on there that they was going to keep it, but obviously reading that planning application, they want to pull it down now, so... Just have to go to their website and have another look. I'll post, as I said, a lot of the information on there, so you can see what's happening on, on the end of this video. But yeah, they are, I think they're stripping out all the asbestos, because obviously in this 1960s it's full of asbestos, so they've got to strip it first. John F. Hunt are obviously the uh, demolition contractors. Yeah, St. George's Walk. Yeah, completely strip it out first before they start pulling it all down. Other one here, see what this. Yeah, full structural demolition of Park House to basement level. So yeah, they are planning to pull that down then. So Park House, which is this building there, I think they are going to pull it down. Yeah, it goes right the way down there. We'll take this down and obviously that building above will go, all this is going. Yeah, this section over the road here is all coming down. Just come out and show Park House again. Yeah, Park House. All of this is Park House. So obviously they are going to pull all that down then. If they've put a planning application in to pull it down, that's what they're going to do. through there anymore because obviously they've started work on St George's house now, work's underway so they've closed that off. I think this, this row of shops in here are staying for now, 
If there is a possible phase three, don't know anything on that, that's just me guessing if there will be a phase three that they're keeping these shops. Yeah, this is still open for business. I don't know if they'll refurbish this, I don't, I don't know, I don't know what they're going to do with it, it's not been included in, in phase two, so don't really know on that. But all the ones that side, they're all going. That's all being pulled down. The underground car park could all be demolished. They will probably build a new underground car park, but obviously it'll have to be renewed because of the new buildings, what they're going to build above it. So, go down this side. Yeah, this will go. That's Ellis House, that will go. Sage's House West, which is there. That's going, but Sage's House East on the end there will stay. That's listed. I think that the main tower will be 50 and 45 storeys, we'll, if they get planning permission, it will stand round about here. And if it does get built, it will be by far Croydon's tallest building. It will be in the region of about 500 to 600 feet, that's just me guessing, but roughly that, 50 storey residential buildings are roughly within that, that area, 500 to 600 feet. Yeah, that's Sage's House East, that's listed, that's staying. But yeah, work has begun on St George's House now. Yeah, I'd imagine Sage's, uh, I do believe Sage's Walk or Sage's Square they want to call this, I think when it's finished. Because obviously if you had a walk around this will be pedestrianised, I think they'll probably clean up and refurbish the side of this building, because that's staying. Yeah, obviously over there you've got 101 George Street there, which is under construction. That'll be Croydon's tallest building when it's finished. Uh, 135 metres, but a couple of websites they said it's 139 metres, so I've done a separate video on that, so you can check that out if you like. Yeah, it would just be a, about one metre taller than Saffron Tower, which is at West Croydon. I have done a video on that a long time ago, it's on my channel somewhere if you want to go back and check that out. Yeah, so you just have. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that because the sun can't twist it round. Internal. Yeah, just going to refurbish that. Anyway. video this plaque the last video I did but I'll do it again. It used to be the old gas offices I do believe years ago. Yeah that's uh, Sage's house there, that's listed. Yeah, that will be refurbished and brought in with Queen Square, so that's definitely staying. Yeah, so I'll update any updates and I'll update in the description. Um, and each time I come to Croydon, I'll do new videos on it as it's, as it's progressing.